What is up, awesome tubers? This is my SmackDown review for March 13th, 2018. And hello, WWE Universe. Welcome. And if you're not a subscriber yet to the channel, go ahead and hit that bell button and join the awesome tuber army today. Now, let's talk about this SmackDown. There's a lot to discuss here. First off, let's recap some of Fastlane, some of the major things that happened, which we all know AJ Styles is still the WWE Champion, which I predicted that a while back in one of the older videos. Um, so AJ Styles is still our champion, and I would like to give a quick shout out to Webby and my friend Jason. I'm sure they'll be watching this video eventually, and also my girlfriend Alicia and my brother Andrew. Alright, so not only is AJ Styles the, still the champ, we have a new champion, Randy Orton. And as you can see behind me, there is Randy. He is the new U.S. champion, defeated Bobby Roode. And he is our new U.S. champ, which I kind of enjoy that. It's good to see them using Randy Orton again. But anyways, back to SmackDown. AJ Styles, of course, opens the show. He comes down, cuts his little promo, you know... And then to build their feud, Nakamura interrupts him and comes down and says he will be the champion. And Nakamura and AJ Styles kind of face down for a minute. But then Rusev breaks the tension, and here comes Rusev. And Rusev Day comes down, and we have AJ Styles versus Rusev. Which is actually a fairly decent match, but it ends in DQ. AJ Styles wins by DQ. And then Rusev Day, just, they start beating the living crap out of AJ Styles. But, of course, Nakamura comes in and helps AJ Styles. And kind of just shows that Nakamura uh, respects AJ Styles. Because he even said that he respected him. And there was a new Hall of Fame inductee, which I'm not sure how I feel about this. Kid Rock has been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Personally, I think the Hall of Fame should be been for WWE superstars. I mean, Kid Rock did have some involvement in the business, but really, is it enough to be in the Hall of Fame with greats like Edge? I don't think so. And then it gets cut to a promo where AJ Styles and Nakamura are backstage talking, and AJ Styles pretty much shuts down Nakamura and says, I don't want your help. So AJ Styles refuses Sensei Nakamura's help, thus showing AJ's really not feeling Nakamura, and going to be a good match. I'm excited for their match at WrestleMania. I mean, two good wrestlers. I'm hoping AJ Styles gets the victory because I'm an AJ Styles guy. Actually, correction, Jimmy Uso and Big E versus the Bludgeon Brothers. Um, now, let me, I do like the Bludgeon Brothers, don't get me wrong. They're an interesting tag team. Um, I, I would say they're the best tag team right now in SmackDown, and they should be the tag team champs here soon, I'm hoping. Uh, this was an alright match. I mean, it's a squash match for the Bludgeon Brothers. I already knew this. And, of course, the Bludgeon Brothers did get the win. And Rowan gets the pinfall. And I was happy about that. But a boring match overall. And uh, just lazy riding by WWE. And then we got Sami Zayn backstage complaining about his loss. Blaming Shane McMahon. He's not happy that he did not win the title. But... We all knew he wouldn't. And then there's more tension being built for Charlotte and Asuka at WrestleMania. Asuka's going to become champ. I'm pretty sure they've been pushing her. So we'll be seeing Asuka as champion at WrestleMania. And then Randy comes down and celebrates his new title. The new U.S. champ Randy Orton from St. Louis, Missouri. And I'm here from Missouri. I'm from Missouri myself. So I support Randy Orton. And I'm glad to see he's the U.S. champ again. Because personally, Bobby Roode is kind of overrated. But there's going to be a rematch at WrestleMania for the title. And we'll see who goes over in that match. It's going to be Randy Orton versus Bobby Roode. This year's WrestleMania for the U.S. title. Next match is Bobby versus Ginger Mahal. This match also is a pretty boring match. Uh, I mean, nothing too impressive. Uh, Ginger Mahal gets the victory because he cheats. And then Randy comes in with an RKO out of nowhere. Which, which is, it's always nice to see a good RKO, especially on Ginger Mahal. Cause who the fuck likes Ginger Mahal? But that's pretty much all she wrote for SmackDown. If you like this video, please subscribe. And join the awesome tuber army tonight.
And if you're already a part of the Awesome Tubers, I want to say thank you. We have 24 subscribers now, and I hope to keep growing. I appreciate everyone that has subscribed to the channel. But I'm going to go for now. This has been my SmackDown review. Peace out. WWE Universe, see you later.